finally some w's after this catastrophic l on l and l remember what cassandra said at banquet of tragedies and even though we defeated the floor boss it's not over yet we're going to the white palace to rescue bell are we gonna have more hope or more despair i think the banquet of tragedy continues let's begin the reaction oh no more flashback stuff i don't like flashbacks because flashbacks only mean one thing she gonna die she gonna die are, would she really die though would they really sacrifice ryu Maybe this is the appropriate time to have a character death to have that kind of impact. There would be an emotional impact for sure. What an ominous soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, what are we supposed to do? This is a flashback. We can't stop them. Look at all these names that I won't remember because they're all going to die. They're all going to die. Fire? Oh? Bye. Why? Because it's intelligent. Hmm, they're adapting. I don't feel good about that, actually. Oh, it's them. It's uh, the reinforcements, but it's a little bit... How are they going to get down there? Is it possible? Possible? Oh my god, whenever there's cat girl, they always end it with Nia. Let's forget. I can't forget. Possible, get it, cat. Are you kidding me? These puns, these cat puns are out of control. Perfectly. I can't. <laughs> it can't be cat that. Bro, this entire cat dialogue. Cat's the spirit. Meow then. Oh my god, I have a weak spot for that. That's some fish monster. Oh, wait, it's like a seahorse, but it's like an actual horse. Huh? A kelpie. How did it get up here? Why are they up here? Is there something different in the multiple? The dungeon's behaving very erratically. Well, we know that ever since, you know, Jiro did his thing. More monsters that shouldn't be here? Yo, the dungeon really wants to get rid of us. Like, the dungeon... It has its, like, its immune system, right? Is he gonna do something with the more something? Quick crafting? What can you do with this? Saved you! He yells too while going in. You know, Oka I didn't think was very reliable. But ever since his like combo attack with uh, Mikoto and right now... Yo, this axe is going hard. Like before, I guess it was the floor boss and he wasn't able to attack it properly. Yo! Boris is still alive?! Are you- What is this dude?! I- Like, I was joking that like, he was gonna be the last one surviving in the previous season. Like, every one of his like, men and girls died, right? But he's still alive. It's like a- It's almost like a running gag how he keeps surviving everything. Well, they think that he didn't make it, right? Cause we did get our like, arm chopped off. We also got our neck seemingly broken. But it's fine. It's fine. I mean, he's not lying, but what he thought, it makes sense, but obviously he's not dead. And obviously our team doesn't want to believe that shit. Don't worry, he's the main character. Don't worry. Damn, I forgot about that. Her whole, like, abandonment issues thing. The whole entire backstory, that shit was so depressing, too. I mean, it's not up to him whether he wants to die or not. Come on. Please, don't worry. He's still alive. He's alive. So, Master Boris is still coming with us. I can't believe he's joined their party. Surrounded on both fronts. Do we got a plan? Firebolt, I guess. Well, I didn't know he could do that. Is that a little bit like a magic tool? Yeah. Oh, no. Can we craft? You, you found the ores down here, right? Can we craft some shit down here? Probably not. We don't have like blacksmithing anvils. I can't believe Boris is still alive. This guy, this dude, man. More detail. Did you see Bell's, you know, head get cut off? You didn't, right? I just on that ridiculous copium, but that copium is true in this instance. He's not dead. 
That's true. The arm did get ripped off, but attached just in time. That was such a shock. And then, boom, right in the neck. But don't worry, our scar saved us. That material is insane. Man, it's insane. It, it did, it did. Yo, Boris got some crazy detailed analysis going on. <laughs> I'm surprised he remembers all this. And then he just like fell into the water and maybe a certain mermaid saved us, but he didn't see that. Mm. That's true. There's a chance. There's a chance. I suppose it's possible. Dude, if you can be alive at this point, Bella's definitely alive. <laughs> Boris is like, bro, I have a bad... Well, what choice does he have? It's that or be left alone here. Like, what are you going to do? Go back home by yourself? How? Do you think you have any choice in this matter? Yeah, I think you owe us some too, man. What if Boris has some ridiculous heroic moments in the future? Like he sacrifices himself to save one of our party members? Wouldn't that be ridiculous? If that actually does happen, I will name Bor the MVP of this arc. Even though he doesn't deserve it, but just because that a seemingly joke character like this surviving this long and then actually having a payoff moment where he saves somebody? Bro, that's, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> no, Aisha's leadership skills is unreal too. Because she's always like the impromptu leader whenever Belle gets dissociated from the party because Belle always has a side mission. And then it's up to Aisha or Lily to take command. Aisha is the vice captain of our party. She's not even a part of her family, but she's so good at it. I don't know. How do we reach the White Palace from here? I, I have no clue. Can you not craft more magic swords? With the ores found here? I don't know. His ti this episode title was called Ignis, right? I'd expect him to do something crazy then. Man, whenever he he's so reliant on the magic swords, but I... What is that? A cube of... I have no clue what that is. Use the ore. Use the ore. Somehow, I don't know. Figure something out. Oh, a little bit of flashback. Yeah, wait, we can forge weapons anywhere, you say? So, with the ores around, what could he forge? The more magic swords, I guess, and he could, I don't know, break open an entrance to the White Palace? Uh, that was out of nowhere, but sure. <laughs> I got a plan. He's just gonna make magic swords on the spot, huh? I'm not sure what goes into the creation of magic swords, right? Like, it's probably something ridiculous. But for him to do it on the spot here is probably a ridiculous feat, right? Also, that too. Well, you gotta protect him. Well, I mean, you were resting. Come on. Yeah, don't we need stuff like that? But if I just said, all you need is. Some ores and a hammer and some fire. <laughs> okay, so he's really gonna do it. So even though we're seemingly in like a place where you can't craft shit, we do have the most rarest of ores here. And then we can have some really OP magic swords. All right, yo, these magic swords have been clutch. I think the first time I saw them in use was season two. It might have happened even earlier, but during the uh, the war. Festival? I forget. Against Apollo, right? That that magic sword went hard. And Ryu used it, I think. Yeah, Boris, what are you gonna do? No, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We're with you! Ignis! That's the title drop! Aisha's in. Oh? Aisha's so cool. Aisha's so cool. I love her so much. Yes. <laughs> you got the hammer, you got the metal, a little bit of fire, that's all you need. <laughs> Makes it sound so easy, but let's see what happens. Your fire. And this is a, like a metaphorical fire, right? It's not just a literal flame, but like the flames. Like him, his passion, his resolve. The blacksmiths are popping off right now out of nowhere, okay? It's so epic. We're just, you know, crafting shit, but 
It's like our last uh, chance. Betting everything on Ignis. Let's see this. Yo, Aisha's pop is really falling apart. <laughs> By every minute that passes, that like band that she just has around is just. <laughs> <laughs> it's really falling apart. I should be focusing on this, but I can't help but you know, notice that. And finally, the last use of our magic sword was to make the flames. We can make more. It'll be worth. Somehow the most epic moment of this episode wasn't like a fight scene. No, it was just monologuing of, I can blacksmith here on the spot, guys. Do you trust me? How strong are your flames? Super epic. And I'm sure he's going to get that shit done. And I'm telling you, I should ban this falling apart. We got to get some new bands. Actually, I'm kind of fine with it being like that. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.